Hey YouTube friends and welcome to another video and today's video I am doing a Christmas home tour. You'll get to see everything I did. Now I didn't go too crazy with the decorations because we will be moving. So um, this is what I did. If you're new here please please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you and um, if you want to see what I did this year just stay tuned and keep on watching. Now the first thing you're going to see is my mantle. Um, I love that wreath on there with the snowflakes which I got at the Dollar Tree and I actually fanned it out to make it look like it's um, bigger. It has like more points to it. And this is an LED candle. Cool thing about it, it has a remote so I don't have to like get up and turn every single one off. I got those at Ross. And here I just layered some greenery that I had. I had like this really, really old garland. But I added stuff to it to make it look a lot nicer than it really is. Um, yeah. This is the, another, the other candle on the other side. And the wreath. The wreath I was actually going to get rid of. And I decided to keep it and put it on the mantle. Had some lights and decoration and voila, it looks beautiful. My fireplace is on and it's never on because I have a psycho toddler who just touches everything and there's no way I'd be able to keep that on during the day. It's just on for the video. Um, moving along, again, over here, I don't have much going on on my couches, first of all, because we're moving. I'm getting rid of them. Number two, I did order some pillow covers and Amazon kind of, I don't know, like they told me they were coming in January. So I don't know what I did. I thought it was prime, but I messed up. These is, this is a collection of all the ornaments that my daughter has picked off the tree. And that tray is never on the table because of her. Over here is my husband's pride and joy. That is the Christmas tradition that we have in our family to do a Christmas village. Now, um, it's something that he's been doing with his dad and now he's doing with our daughter and he loves doing it. He does such a great job to make it look like a real town and have everybody, you know, hustling and bustling around, Christmas shopping, you know, Christmas caroling and all that. I love the church and how it has like the stained glass windows and all the details and all these little houses and buildings. Your people really do a good job. I got those at um, Michael's and um, yeah, I really like how the trees have the snow on it. It just looks beautiful to me, so that's why I'm spending a little bit extra time over here. Elmer's Country Grocery Store. Really, that looks so cool. Yeah, so over here is a picture of him and his dad. And over here, these little houses I got at the Dollar Tree, believe it or not, they don't have as much detail as the other ones, but they kind of like help put a little bit of perspective on there. And this is what we did for our kitchen. This is on our bar. We don't use the bar as a bar, so that's what we did. And the garland is uneven because of toddler, for toddler reasons. Now on my um, kitchen counter, I did this little small little vignette over here. It's only for Instagram pictures for my food pictures, um, but I didn't really do too much more in the kitchen really. Now in our dining room, like our formal dining room, I have this little thing going on on a buffet. I love this ornament that I got at Walmart, I believe. And these bowls, I love how they reflect the light and I put like some ornaments in them. They're from the Dollar Tree and then I just put around the silvery, the silvery garland. I just totally blanked out. <laughs> um, this is a look from standing in the living room. And if you saw my last video, you would know what that table looks like. That was a wreath from the Dollar Tree that I put on both of my lamps. And again, my pillows are not the right color. They were supposed to be silver and gold, but I'm not getting my stuff till after the holidays, so yeah. This face, beautiful from Ross. It's like a mosaic sparkly vase. So gorgeous in person. On my tree, we didn't go too crazy with the ornaments because of, again, toddler reasons. But I did put like, you know, some ornaments and then the flowers are from the Dollar Tree. I thought it looked so nice on there with the color scheme. 
And um, this is the look from standing in the dining room when you're like walking in. Yeah, wouldn't it look so good with those silver and gold pillows <laughs> that I don't have? <laughs> um, yeah. So here's the other angle here. And now if you look at my banister, the staircase is a wrapped in garland, pre-lit garland that I also decorated with some reindeer and some ornaments and the flowers. Now last year I had them red so they really popped but this year I did white flowers so you really only see the impact of them during um, at night. During the day when it's it's not dark enough you can't really see the whole effect. So there it is right there. And this little guy's crooked and I'm gonna try to fix it but I, I'm not, ha I'll have to come back to this. I'll just put it like that for now. Yeah, so this is what this looks like. Again, with the snowflakes, see how there's two of them there? Yeah, here's another reindeer from the Dollar Tree. I don't know, who, I don't know anybody that doesn't have these, really. Um, again, another vignette I put together. Some of the red from last year, like the red berries and everything. Same candles. Those ones need batteries, though, so that's why they're not on. And, um... Yeah, I just layered the silver and the green and just kind of kept the same theme throughout the house so it didn't look too clashy, I guess. But this is the only place you'll find the red. And those are presents. It came in the mail. Now this is my absolute favorite part next to the mantle. This is um, an alcove that we have and this is how I decorated it with some greenery at the bottom and those little mini trees from the Dollar Tree and some lights. I have this on all the time so the batteries are already out on the lights so they're kind of dim. You can barely see the light but it looks so beautiful in Barzette. I love it. This is um, again the look from standing at the door and over here you will see this is my wreath. I put a little reindeer in the middle. I didn't want to go too crazy with this one, but I love how it looks frosted like it already has snow on it. And I just added a couple extra ornaments. Nothing too crazy. And I thought that looked pretty good. And here's an overview of the whole thing. Yeah, I love it. This does not do it justice. Like I said, you have to see this like at night but it's hard to film at night because then you won't see anything else <laughs> so I thought everything came out beautiful even though we didn't weren't able to do too much this year I'm still sour over my pillows but it's okay <laughs> um, yeah I just have some wreaths over here and when you keep walking you get to the table I'm sure you've seen this before from my Christmas table decor video. And this is when my daughter plays keyboard and I play keyboard also. So I kind of left that there. Um, I just threw a throw on the chair. And yeah, this is the whole, the whole shabam. This is the village again. I realize this picture's crooked now that I'm watching this video. And the mantle is beautiful. I love the mantle. So if you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button, like, share, leave me a comment, let me know what your favorite decoration was and what you did at your house. And I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas. Bye.